Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to this new video here at Top Notch Programmer. Today, I'm back with a new video where I'm showing you guys how to scrape emails from Twitter. So we are going to do this by using my bot that I just built right now. And all this bot does, it just goes to Twitter and search for a keyword like at Gmail or at Yahoo or at Hotmail or any other email domain and then it is going to scrape all the tweets that contains an email on it and from these tweets we'll pick only the email and save them in an email.txt file. This bot will have some time delay between each scrape that we are going to choose and we can put how many time delay we want. This bot uses Twitter API and I will show you in this video how to get the API keys from Twitter absolutely for free. So let's start without losing any more time. Okay, let's go to the repository of this project, which is this right now. And you can find a link of this in the description in the link section. And uh, we can go ahead and download it by using a Git clone that I prefer and always use. But to use that, you have to first download Git. Just go ahead to description. You'll find every link that I use. And here you're going to download Git for your Windows or your Mac computer. Also, you have to download Python. Just go ahead to the link and download your Python and make sure to add Python to path while you run the setup of the Python. So after installing Python and all of these things, just go back to the repository and click on code again, click on copy and then go back to the desktop or anywhere you want to save and then you have to open command line from start. Okay and from here we have to move to desktop so cd desktop and then we have to clone the project here on desktop. So just write git uh, clone and paste the link we just copied and press enter then it will save the here and folder as you can see we have the folder here and uh, inside it we have the files that we need so uh, for now we have this email.txt is just a dummy file that I put here you can delete it and here we have requirements and run.py first we have to install requirements so just go back to CMD and uh, move to inside the folder first which is Twitter email scraper so CD uh, Twitter Twitter email scraper and now we have to install requirements with a pip install so run pip install dash r requirements.txt then press enter and this will install everything we need and now we have just to run the main file which is uh, which is uh, run.py but first before running this we have to edit some code so we have to download or maybe you can use notepad too uh, but I prefer to use code editors so I like to use VS code to download VS code just go to Google and search for VS code download and here we have the website and you can download for your operating system but now I have it installed so if you have it installed just write code dot and press enter and then this will open the VS code in the current project so here we have the project here we have requirements which is where that we just installed and now we have a uh, run.py so here we have two in this lines like in the line 8 9 10 and 11 we have to paste the API keys but we are going to get first this API keys from the developer portal of Twitter so just go ahead to the description and go to the link and, and this is the developer.twitter.com uh, where we are going to get the API keys and register I am already registered on this uh, website and I can't register again but you just have to put your information to put uh, what you want to use the bot for and all the things that requires and then we are go you are going to be registered and once you register just go to developer portal and then here we have to create a new project so I have already a project but I will create another one so just click on create app and here we can put uh, an app that you want uh, for example a tutorial then press okay it needs to be a, a unique uh, name tutorial email uh, tmp okay press next then it will show you the keys that you need then you have to go to app settings just click on app settings and here in the key you have to click on key and tokens and he'll show you consumer keys and authentication keys so here first you have to generate uh, the consumer keys so click on regenerate and yes regenerate then it'll show you two keys that you have to paste in the first two fields so just copy the first one click on copy go back to uh, vs code and paste in the first field 
then go back again and copy the second one and paste in the second one here in consumer key secret so uh, click on yes i saved them then go back to access token and secret and click generate then you have to copy again these two fields these two keys and click on copy then go back to access token and paste it here then go back again and copy the access token secret and paste it here so now we have the keys and to make sure to save just click on file and save then we have it saved here now all we're gonna do is just to run this uh, file in our computer okay you can run this file in the terminal but uh, in the command line, but you can also open the terminal here on VS Code. Just click on the terminal uh, here and click on new terminal. Then it will open a ter integrated terminal here. You can maximize this. And here we have to run the file. So the name of file is run.py. Then we have just to write uh, Python, Python run.py and press enter. Then it will show us logged in and we have put your email keyword so you can put at gmail or at yahoo or at uh, hotmail or any other domain but for now it put uh, at gmail because it's more popular and everybody uses it so uh, i'll put just at gmail.com press enter then it will ask you how many time delay you want uh, between each scrape so i recommend you to put uh, a lot of time if you want to if you don't want to get limits from twitter api but uh, the normal is like 10 to 20 seconds you can put a number between 10 to 20 seconds but for now i'll put just three just to show you that uh, and it will go much faster so I'll just uh, type three and press enter and then it's going to scrape all the tweets and from this tweets we'll pick the only the email and the card emails and save them in an emails.txt file so i will leave this running for some times and show you the emails that we just scraped okay guys we scraped some emails right now and to stop this bot all you're gonna do is just to press ctrl plus c in your keyboard and then you can go to emails.txt and here you're gonna find all the list of the emails here so you can leave this running and here we have all the emails you can use these emails to, for marketing for affiliate to send products or you do anything you want but uh, these are some emails that you can scrape and you can leave this running 24 7 but make sure to have like 20 to 50 time seconds between each scrape because you will get some limits from twitter if you don't use that you can also edit the code to make more things like so for example here we have since uh, the date here so we'll, it will pick all the emails since this date you can uh, do make a different date or something also, you can add this, this code to, uh, to pick the tweets from a specific uh, user that I, car I usually do. So, for example, there are some Twitter accounts that uh, just retweets the emails of others for uh, different uh, niches or different topics. And then it will uh, show all the tweets and then this bot is going to scrape all the tweets and all the emails from these tweets. So uh, this was the bot for today. I hope you like it and I hope this is useful to you. If you want more products from me, my more premium products, just go to uh, topnotchprogrammer.com. And here we're gonna find a lot of more uh, products for in the store and services. Here are some premium products that I sell. And if you want them, just go ahead and buy it uh, directly from here. And also just go to blog and read any of my blog if you're interested and make a comment if you uh, are interested about that. So this was the video for today. Hope you liked this video. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Peace.